If I do, I can have the surgery tomorrow. Tomorrow? What if do your lab work up and, and, and test? I've already had all that. The hospital's sending my records. To Seattle. That's where his practice is. Why can't he do the surgery here? He said he doesn't have privileges here. He's only here because he has a conference in Philadelphia. With Dr. Nance? Yeah, I understand you recommended him. You couldn't <laughs> find someone closer? Well, he's a good man and an excellent neurosurgeon. As good as you? I knew that something was up when Dorian let me get away. I thought she was jealous of my female fans, but after I completed my television ad campaign for the good folks at Have a Seat Hemorrhoid Pads, I received a lot of adulation and praise, and my female fans threw themselves at me, naturally. But then I realized it was something more. It had put a strain on my relationship with Dorian. And I saw that Dorian found her true self with Amelia. I couldn't stand in the way of that. I did what any man would do. I stepped aside and I let love live. I think I've got everything I need. Are you sure? I've got more. Would you like more? Thanks for that. Pretending that Dorian is marrying her campaign manager? Oh, you've got to admit, this did up the ante. I don't think Charlie and Vicky are going to be able to beat that. Unless maybe one of them has a sex change. Well, this is about more than beating Mrs. Banks. You obviously don't know Dorian. No, this is about giving everybody the right to be married under the law. I don't know if that's really all it's chalked up to be. A few marriages of mine I wish were illegal. Yeah, but you did it for love, right? Well... Excuse me. You are gay, aren't you? Yes, I, I am. And don't you want the same rights and privileges that everybody else has? You know what I want doesn't really have anything to do with this? No, of course it does. We're, we're doing this for you, Oliver. We're doing this for everyone. What, by lying about your feelings? I don't know, I thought, I thought we were past all that. A campaign rally for Dorian Lord turned into pandemonium as the mayoral candidate's niece tumbled from a second-story window to the ground below. Jack, don't watch that. Take me to the hospital. Uh, we are not going anywhere. But, Mom... No, no, your Aunt Dorian left strict instructions for us to stay here. If there is any news, she'll call. Manning residence? Noel. Oh, Dorian. Uh, how's poor Blair? Extremely lucky. Oh, so she's gonna be all right. Landing on that pool cover saved her life. Nothing more than bumps and bruises. Thank God. When's she coming home? They want to keep her here for observation, just to be sure. Let me talk, let me talk. Dorian, I think Jack needs to hear this for himself. Elijah. It's Ross. No, 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 I'm still in land view. Oh. Not until I find out what KS dash my kid. I don't care what's advisable. Listen to me. If she won't tell me the truth, I got a pretty good idea where I'm going to find it. Taya! Oh, Star. Hey. My mom is, she's going to be OK. Oh, thank God. Hey, Cole. Yeah, there's no broken bones, and her back is OK. And she's awake and talking. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, she's in there with my dad right now. You had Todd Manning's child, and you kept it from him. Wow, Taya. That's a mistake of your life, because he has to know. Taya? Huh? You take one more step, and I will rip your throat out. I have something to tell you. Save it. You can do it later. No. Not as if you're going to die or anything. No, it's, it's something big. It's... It's about Taya. Taya and I are over. Uh, I figured. You were right. She's still married to Ross Ray. No, she, she's lying. You fixed Todd. that, didn't you? She said she could refile the divorce papers, but she told me I told her not to bother. something, something today in, in my room. Of course, none of that would have mattered if she just told me the truth. She poured water on me. And... Shh, I think you're still a little. Goofy in the head. No. I'm sorry I brought you into this. Of course, I didn't know she was going to do anything like this. No, we fought, Todd. No, we no, fought. It. You need to take it easy. It's Todd. okay. No, Blair, come on. It's over. Dude, she told me something. She's lying. Who let you out of jail? 
Out of my way, Dorian, okay? Was it Nora? Because when I'm elected mayor, she's finished. I need, I need to see Blair right now. So you can finish the job? I don't recall you being so tough on crime when Blair pushed me out a window. That was an accident. <gasps> this was attempted murder. <gasps> What's going on over here? And don't you think that I don't know your motive? <gasps> motive? I know. Everything, everything is fine. Every no, no, nothing is fine because Taya here has been keeping some big secrets. Listen, I will tell you everything later, okay? Right now, I need to get in there, okay? Oh, so you can find out whether or not Blair's gonna press charges against you? Press charges? <sighs> Honey, your mother and I were arguing. She fell out the window. I did not push her. Oh, I... of course not. Blair jumped. Blair knows that I did not mean to hurt her. And if you let me in there, then I can apologize to her myself. Oh, great. I'll buy a ticket to watch that. Yes, all those years swaying juries. I bet you've got remorse down pat. It is the truth. Oh, you listen to me. I intend to protect my family. <laughs> From me? You bet. Because after what you did to Blair, as far as I'm concerned, you are not human. You are garbage. She just hung up. Well, but she said everything's gonna be all right, right? So do you feel better about your mom now? I will when she comes home. Oh, I understand. You wanna see her with your own two eyes? No kidding. I'm not letting her out of my sight. Somebody has to keep her out of the hospital. Oh, now, your Aunt Dorian is going to take very good care of her. She's too busy with her stupid campaign. Now, do you really think that would keep her from helping somebody she loves? Look, she's on again. Oh, Ms. Amelia Bennett? Rerunning her press conference. my new campaign manager. She is my partner. She is my fiancé. <laughs> Aunt Dorian's lesbian? When did that happen? No one asked you to lie. Yeah, well, you're sure not telling the truth. Oh, because I'm not in love with Dorian? I'm pretty sure she's not in love with you either. Who are we to define what makes a marriage? Isn't that exactly what we're fighting against? No, this is different. How? They tell us that our feelings aren't legitimate, that we don't have the right to marry, to have families. Who receive the same tax credits, insurance benefits. Yeah, yes, yes, I believe in all of that, but why use a straight woman to get them? And believe me, she is straight. Funny story, I tried to get her into a menage a trois once. Dismal <laughs> failure. If we get what we want, what difference does it make? Because you're asking people to trust you. No, I'm asking people to trust our stance on the issue. We never lied about that. And you really think that'll make a difference when people find out the truth? How are they gonna find out, Oliver? Are you gonna tell them? Look, Dr. Nance is one of the best in his field. Well, we've already talked to the best in the field. He's not on everyone's radar yet, but I've had the privilege of working with him. You have? Mm-hmm. He was my first assist on several of my surgeries, and he's very familiar with my techniques. Assisted? So you were like his teacher? He was a very good student, yes. But everything he knows, you taught him. Destiny, we've been over this. I know. You don't want to operate on anybody else because of what happened to Sean. You do want Matthew to have this surgery, don't you? Not from some guy who came in second place. I wouldn't recommend Dr. Nance if I didn't think that he could do this surgery. What's his rate of success? Well, I don't know the exact figures. All right, is he as good as you? This procedure is extremely difficult. It's 50% God, no matter who's doing it. You're not answering the question. It's not as simple as that. We've had different patients, different circumstances. I mean, you're asking me to compare apples and oranges. No, we're asking you for a straight answer. Who's got the better track record, Dr. Evans, you or Dr. Nance? I do. 